Hey everybody, Dr. Rich Edgeberger here and welcome back to my YouTube channel uh, where I usually talk about uh, the wildlife science program at the UNA Basin campus of Utah State University. And today I brought you to someplace really beautiful, as usual. I'm up at uh, Flaming Gorge and below me is the Flaming Gorge Reservoir and what surrounds the reservoir is known as Red Canyon. And I brought you here today to just show you a little example of one of the tools that we use in wildlife management. And that tool is called a trail camera. And the way these trail cameras work is they have a, a sensor on the front here that are, triggers a photograph or a video when movement happens. So for example, if I put this somewhere and an animal walks by, it'll take a photograph or take a video. Oftentimes in wildlife management, we'll use this to look at some kind of animal behavior. Uh, for example, uh, this year the Utah Division of Wildlife Resources is using trail cameras to monitor some underpasses under a highway to see if mule deer will use that. Well, the reason I have you up here at Flaming Gorge is because I use this trail camera and another one, actually two of them, uh, for the last three days. Uh, I was up here hiking about four days ago and I found a lion killed bighorn sheep. And so what I did um, is I put these cameras so that they would monitor when the lion comes back to feed on the bighorn sheep. How did I find that? Well, I was up here hiking, I saw a lot of blood on the ground, and then I came to the spot where the mountain lion had cached the bighorn sheep. And when they cache the sheep, uh, they usually put them under a tree and they cover them up with pine needles and sticks and dirt and all kinds of debris. Now, four days ago, there wasn't as much snow as there is right now. Um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to take the memory chip out of this camera and the other camera and I'm going to load them into my computer and see what kind of videos and see what kind of still shots that we got. Come on, I'll show you what we got. Bighorn sheep went extinct in Utah for a number of different reasons and they've been reintroduced in a lot of areas, including Flaming Gorge. Uh, the bighorn that are at Flaming Gorge are uh, being studied and looking at their population sizes by the Utah Division of Wildlife Resources. And uh, even though they're doing well, they have uh, predators such as cougars. And I've seen a number of cougars up in the uh, Flaming Gorge area. And uh, that particular area has good habitat. When I was up there hiking recently, uh, right out at the overlook, I saw some blood on the ground, and I looked around and saw blood in a lot of places. And uh, in a couple of places, I saw that there were uh, there was some hair, and I identified that pretty quickly as uh, bighorn sheep hair. And as I looked around even more, I saw that there was uh, tracks there, cougar tracks, and uh, it looked as though the cougar had used the fence on the overlook to corner the sheep and to be able to uh, to take it down. Um, as I looked around further, I found where the bighorn had been cached, uh, covered up uh, by the, the lion, and so that uh, uh, other things wouldn't be able to get it. Um, and that's when I put the camera, uh, the trail camera. I pointed a video camera and also a still camera right at the, uh, right at the sheep. Well, when I went back today, uh, the sheep had been totally fed upon, and uh, uh, it was no longer covered up, so I was able to retrieve the cameras and uh, I took the chips, the little memory chips, and I downloaded them into my computer. And so let's take a look at what we see. Um, the first thing here is, uh, and this was uh, recorded about two hours after I placed the camera. Uh, you can see a couple of kittens here. Uh, these are our youngsters. Um, mountain lions can have youngsters uh, any time of the year. They can breed at any time of the year. And uh, these are actually seem to me kind of small. I've seen some larger ones than this uh, in uh, summertime. So this, uh, this female must have bred uh, pretty late and she now has these two young kittens to take care of throughout the year. And you can see them here on the, uh, on the uh, cache before the females uncovered it. Here you can see the female uh, and the kittens feeding. Um, at nighttime, these trail cameras use a uh, uh, an infrared uh, light and you'll see some flashes here as the uh, still camera when it takes pictures at night it will use an infrared flash uh, but you can see both the female and the kittens here feeding uh, on the bighorn um, she looks like a pretty healthy female um, once she finished up feeding uh, she will cover up the uh, sheep again and uh, 
she'll be, um, and you can see her, she's like calling to the, the kittens there. Um, you can see that she'll cover it up again so that she's able to uh, um, keep uh, other predators and uh, scavengers and those kinds of things from coming in uh, to, to feed while she's gone. Um, now coming up, you're going to be looking at some still photos. Uh, here's a still photo of her. You can see she's got some snow on her. Some more snow fell while we were gone. Uh, here's one of her feeding uh, still photo. And um, uh, coming up here, you can see she uh, continues to feed uh, throughout the night. Um, the still photos are nice because you can really focus on kind of what she's doing. And finally, you can see that she's allowed the kittens to come in and feed with her a little bit here. So pretty neat stuff. Wow, wasn't that cool? <laughs> well, if that's the kind of stuff that you would like to, to have as your career, if, you'd like, if you're interested in wildlife science and in wildlife management, at the end of the video here, I'll have my contact information. I'll have my personal cell phone number for you to give me a call, shoot me a text, or my email address where you can send me an email. And I'll get you all the information I can to get you involved in uh, wildlife management and wildlife science here at Utah State University. Come back and uh, see me again. I'll show you some more really cool stuff that we do. So long.